So the British Prime Minister, um, uh, never missing an opportunity to forget history altogether. So basically, he said that uh, those who are calling from the river to the sea uh, are uh, possibly useful idiots or something worse. Uh, so here we need to really stop for uh, Sonak to think that he is actually contributing anything meaningful. I'll remind you that uh, he should be actually expressing an apology to the Palestinians on behalf of uh, the British uh, uh, for the disaster that they have been visiting upon the Palestinians uh, since the Balfour Declaration, since the mandate, and since uh, completely disrupting the Palestinian life. But no, Sonak wants to continue to be of service, uh, to continue to, the, to framing uh, what is taking in Palestine uh, in pushing a racist, despicable, and uh, literally helping Netanyahu in his genocidal campaign against the Palestinians. Uh, this is a plausible genocide. The British government is still supporting uh, Israel and Israeli operation. And maybe uh, Sona can think and says, what about all these uh, uh, British uh, dual citizens that are engaging in genocidal war in Gaza? What will be your responsibility as a prime minister and as a government, not only for being responsible as a British uh, uh, really initiating the settler colonial project in Palestine first and foremost, but continue to support the dispossession of the Palestinians now. Where are the condemnation of all these attacks carried out by the settlements, by the settlers in the West Bank? Where are the condemnations for limitations on those who are are unable to enter and exit Jerusalem? Where are the condemnation for stripping Palestinian civilians taken out from Gaza, stripping them and parading them in public by the Israeli military? And uh, you don't even need to go far. Maybe you know you learned something called Google. Google these images. Google some of these news reports before you could say and label and uh, derisively call the Palestinians or pro-Palestinians as being useful idiots. Uh, literally, it's even to use this term uh, as a prime minister to think that you're sophisticated. I'm sorry, uh, sophistication and the prime minister office have nothing in common at this point. Uh, we're still waiting for the British apology. We're still waiting for the British to be held responsible. We're still waiting for reparation for the Palestinians. And more importantly, we're still waiting for the right of return for Palestine. We're not forgetting uh, we actually still document and know our history very clearly.